At this time, I'd like to call the meeting to order. The Honorable Lily Bossy was elected to the Beverly Hills City Council in 2011 and is mayor in 2014. Prior to her, her election to the council, she served on the Traffic and Parking Commission from 1997 through 2002 and the Planning Commission from 2007 to 2011. Mayor Bossy served as a president of the Beverly Hills Education Foundation, where she helped start the first Apple Ball and Walk for Schools program. Mayor Bossy grew up in Beverly Hills, attending our local schools and later USC. Mayor Bossy and her husband John helped modernize the school libraries and upgrade the KBEV <laughs> student television facility. And as I look out now, I wonder if she had anything to do with the orange chairs you're sitting in. <laughs> the Honorable Lily Bossy. Thank you. Thank you so much, Marty. Thank you, Ira. Thank you all for, for staying this long. And thank you to these incredible mayors. I truly feel so honored to be sitting up here with all of you because, as Nancy said, it really is your shoulders that we're standing on and you've had the vision and have taken us to where we are now. So thank you for that. And since it has been a very powerful and somewhat long evening, uh, I'm going to try and be a bit brief and give you a flavor of my experience as being mayor of this incredible city. My term started in 2014, which was our centennial year. It was a wonderful, wonderful time for Beverly Hills and truly the most amazing year to be the mayor. So many people were part of the success of our centennial year and we had incredible events. We had concerts and we had exhibits. We had testimonials all celebrating our spectacular history and really showing the foundation of who we are in Beverly Hills, which is truly about diversity and inclusion. And that is what inspired me for my installation for our centennial year. Instead of having one religious leader give the invocation, I invited them all. Instead of mentioning one or two past mayors, I had the entire wall filled of all these incredible mayors to be there for everyone to see. In fact, I invited all of our past female mayors to be on the stage with me by my side. Inclusion and diversity is the foundation of our community. And as mayor, I constantly worked to reinforce that. My thinking for this really important year was for every big birthday, especially a hundredth birthday, it's a time to reflect on where we came from and our vision for the future. We all know that the most important thing to all of us is health. So I decided for our centennial year, we would focus on making Beverly Hills the healthiest city in the world. Healthy people, healthy economy, and healthy government. So I believe that every mayor needs to be accessible. I created the Walk with the Mayor program, and happily it was a huge success. Every Monday morning at 8.30 a.m., hundreds of people in orange, healthy city t-shirts showed up at the front steps of our city hall. We got out of our cars, we walked our city together, we got healthier, and we got to know each other. Thank you. Thank you. We walked to over 80 local businesses, nine city parks, all of our five public schools, and many local historic sites. The people in our community of Beverly Hills had a new, exciting sense of community, a chance for face-to-face -face contact with their mayor every week out in the open. We had the opportunity to ask questions, ask for help, offer suggestions, and sometimes just to complain. Another part of my Healthy City initiative was the popular Lunch and Learn program. It was a monthly series of free sessions open to the public that featured experts in health, finance, emergency preparedness, and other healthy topics. 
I also initiated the 60 second shout out. At every city council meeting, a local business was highlighted with the goal of showcasing our amazing local business community. So during my campaign for city council, I walked Every neighborhood rang many doorbells so that I could meet and talk to people face to face. What I heard over and over again are two concerns. One, quality of life, and two, transparency and openness in city government. One of the best things that happened while I was mayor was the grand opening of this fabulous Roxbury Park Community Center. We had many, many public meetings and lots of people put input to make this incredible gem in our community. We listened to the community and we finally got it right and I am so proud. Creating a dog park in Beverly Hills was one of my most important goals and I was so excited to get in front of this and work with so many people in this community to make it happen. And we are finally gonna have our first dog park in Beverly Hills. So I've always thought it was very important to Bever for Beverly Hills to be a leader and on the cutting edge of technology and communication. I initiated the Text BH program so that our residents will have a new, immediate way to communicate with City Hall. We all text each other, so now we could text our city. More communication leads to better government. So in closing, Beverly Hills and being the mayor of this incredible city is a position I can highly recommend. I discovered early on it is often an 18 hour a day, seven day a week job. It's hard work. You have to be ready to listen and learn on the fly, sometimes change your clothes in the back seat of your car. You have to be part CEO, part problem solver, part mediator, part cheerleader, and sometimes all at the same time. The best advice that I could give anyone who is running for city council is to go for it. It's the hardest job you'll ever have and it is absolutely the most rewarding. And I will forever, forever be grateful. Thank you. The Honorable Dr. Jillian Gold was elected to the city council in 2011 and is the current 2015 mayor. Mayor Gold previously served on the Traffic and Parking Commission and a graduate of Team Beverly Hills, class of 2002. Mayor Gold grew up in New York and graduated, graduated from NYU School of Medicine, a board certified anesthesiologist for 30 years. Mayor Gold is co-managing partner of General Anesthesia Specialist Partnership Medical Group. The Honorable Jillian Gold. So as an anesthesiologist, my first question, are you awake? <laughs> they are frozen. Um, thank you, Marty. Thank you, Ira. And really, thank you all for staying here tonight. Uh, I'm actually the 50th, if you count the plaques in City Hall, I'm the 50th mayor of the city of Beverly Hills. And I have to tell you that it's been really a great honor. Um, I'm, I'm really amazed sitting here tonight and just listening to the mayors that came before me. Um, a lot of what they've said, you know, I kind of knew we had this. I kind of knew this was something that the city did. But I didn't really understand how we got here. And hearing these mayors tell us, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I applaud you. You've done wonderful work for tens of years. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I, I did want to point out uh, to Mayor Stone that I went to the dentist today. I had no cavities. That's thanks to you and the fluorinated water. And I did have a question uh, from, from Mayor Bronte. He was talking about uh, 1500 AM on your dial. What, what is that? <laughs> Only a joke. Only a joke. Only a joke. Um, but it does reflect the change in our society over time, doesn't it? 
And as that society changes, we have to change too. And really that's what being a mayor or a city council member in any great city is about. How do you keep your city current? How do you keep it fiscally sound? How do you meet the new and different needs of a, a citizenry? You know, it's not the same as it was 20 or 30 years ago. And, and this council and, and others uh, need to be responsive to what the new needs are, what the new generations need. Uh, to that end, uh, th we've done a couple of things this year that I'm very proud of, and I'm going to put a little plug in here. On um, March 16th, we're going to do the reorg, and I, I'll have a longer list and get to speak longer. Uh, but I just give you a, a little bit of a preview of things we'll talk about. Um, Mayor Krasny already um, um, pointed at the fiber to the premise. This will be a game changer. The ability for us to have fiber optic um, internet service to every, every building in, in, in the city. All the residences, all the businesses delivering effective and hopefully relatively inexpensive internet service is really going to be a game changer for this. And I'm very proud that we've moved this ahead this year. We've created the, looking to the next generations too, we've created the next generation committee, now a standing committee of the council, to really try and understand what our younger citizens, residents and business owners think that they need in our community and how we can uh, help those things happen and how they can help us move the city forward in the future. Because after all, they are our future, you know, and we want to keep our kids close. We want them to live in this wonderful community as we have, and we want them to take over the leadership uh, reins that we will ultimately give up. We have to train them. We have to get them involved in the process. We have to nurture that, and, and that's our job. That's really our job, those of us with gray hair, a couple of us on the podium here tonight. We struggled this year with drought, almost from the time I got installed, and certainly till today I was at a kickoff for the um, JNF Water uh, Symposium coming up next week. We're, we're going to struggle with drought for the years to come, but, but you know, we, we're trying to get ahead of it. We have an ambitious water project, a water enterprise project. It's going to be expensive. It's going to take us 10 years to do. Uh, it's got all kinds of components. It's drilling wells, it's looking at shallow groundwater, it's conservation, um, storage facilities. Um, but we're going to do it. We're going to do it because that's what the future dictates. And, and along with um, the state of Israel, uh, we're going to learn how to recycle water. We recycle 3% of our water. They recycle almost 90%. They become a water exporter. And speaking of the state of Israel, we were fortunate a number of months ago and, and, and officially in November to sign a memorandum of understanding with the state of Israel, the city of Beverly Hills and the state of Israel, a, a broad agreement that will help us in the fields of water, recycling and things like that, but will also help us with cybersecurity. We're going to talk about that in a couple of months. And will help us with arts and culture. We had Maestro Zubin Mehta here with the Israel Philharmonic. And so very proud that we were able to do that with the State of Israel. Along the way, uh, we uh, were fortunate to install our new city manager, manager Matty Illusory, who's here with us tonight. <laughs> and with the retirement of Chief Dave Snowden, we uh, recruited an interim police chief, uh, Dominic Rivetti, who's done a great job for us. Um, and, and I'm sure that in the near term we will have a, a permanent appointment to that position too. Um, I think one of the, uh, there, there are two other things I just want to highlight. One of the initiatives for this year was uh, the Step Up and Make a Difference Award. It was an opportunity for this community to recognize people, our residents, who've done really amazing things for this community. Often they don't get any recognition for it. They don't want it. But it's so important. It's really what makes us the community that we are, that we have residents who just work for each other in all kinds of ways, for the schools and for the city and for charities. And I thought it was important that we recognize them. And we, we, we spent some time doing that this year. And I'm very proud that we did. And as part of that, too, the, um, one of the crowning moments, I think, was the opportunity to host the Special Olympics. Um, you know, I, I don't know what my expectations of that were as we started it, but I have to say 
seeing these special Olympians and actually being able to interact with them, and more to the point, seeing our community interact with them. I, I, we were out here on the field one day at night, and we had AYSO soccer coaches just kind of kicking the ball around with them because they had a little extra time. And I think Rotary that night had supplied dinner, and everybody just sort of hang out, hung out and kicked the ball around. It was just amazing to see. We had football players on the high school field who, who played with them. And, and one night we actually had, uh, the, as they moved from Beverly Cannon Gardens up to the Wallace where they were to have dinner that night, they, they walked up Cannon Drive. And people just stopped and applauded. People who were sitting at the restaurants, people who were just passerbys, saw, saw these Special Olympians <laughs> and they applauded. And I have to tell you, even today it gives me chills. Because that is the best of what this community is. That's really what we're about. And it was really a highlight moment for me in this year. So it's been a, it's a, been a joy for me. I, I agree with uh, Council Member Bossy, uh, you know, Mayor, former Mayor Bossy, and my Council Member colleague, that it's been a lot of work. It's, it really is much more work than I ever thought. But it's certainly been worth it. And I thank you for the opportunity. I would like to thank all the mayors for sharing their time and memorable experiences with us. They've all contributed to the growth and success of this great city of ours, Beverly Hills. How lucky are we to live here? <laughs>